Hey guys, this is Mindy back with another Cup of Love, Cup of Wisdom. Let's get in here and do an energy check and see what's going on. Remember, this can be past, present, or future energy. Remember to take what resonates, leave what doesn't, flip the signs and rolls as needed. Keep in mind that this is a collective read, not a personal read. If you would like a personal read, the details are in the description box for the channel. Okay? You can also email me at aceofcup0 at yahoo.com. So I have wisdom as a judge. I gotta say, I've had a lot of court stuff come out lately. Discovers and order. Seldom good. Love be and peace. So the energy I'm picking up is um, it's a court kind of energy, some sort of documentation. Um, there's going to be a judge that's going to discover, I'm hearing discovery, that's going to discover or some sort of evidence is going to be admitted or discovered and an order is going to be placed. And usually um, with the seldom good here, maybe um, you've had bad luck in the past with orders going in your favor. Um, so maybe you're hesitant to get your hopes up about something or you feel like something may not be going in your favor because it's seldom good for you. But somebody could come across something um, that shows maybe you're like full of love and light. Um, and there's going to be something that's going to bring you peace. So usually there may be orders that, you know, may not have gone in your favor in the past. But there's going to be an order coming through that's going to put you at peace. I'm hearing a finality, um, a final order, a final judgment going in somebody's favor. After a judge discovers or gets educated about something, um, you could live in a small community. This could be before a court date or before a trial. Um, or this could be during a court proceeding. Um, a judge is going to get some sort of information or um, evidence, and it's going to work out in someone's favor. And the only card that I had that came out was Create in the Reverse. And this could be um, somebody being discovered to have weaved a very deceptive web to try to stop you from creating something or working on something. This could be, um, you know, just building a life or building something for yourself. There's going to be a final ending for a king of wands, somebody who wanted to play games, somebody who is restless, someone who is not a leader, somebody who wanted to take something that belonged to somebody else without a just cause. This could even be trying to ruin someone's life without a really good reason. Someone interfering, I'm hearing interference. Um... I'm hearing an injunction. There could be like an injunction or something like that. Um, there could be a court order issued to stop something or put a stop to something. Um, Queen of Swords, lie, unofficial person. Um, so somebody who is very cold-hearted and deceptive. There was There's a King of Wands here and a Queen of Swords. So there's somebody who was very restless, um, wanted to do whatever they wanted to do. Um, this person doesn't sit still for very long they could have been involving third parties in something and then you have a lying ass feminine energy who is very cold-hearted and told some sort of lies and neither one of these people are an official person the wheel of fortune is on your side and a decision has been made so if you're a content creator um i'm <laughs> this is kind of crazy i'm getting that there's a judge or somebody related to um, or connected to, not necessarily related to, but connected to like a court person. This could actually be a judge that came across you. Um, somebody could have Googled your name or come across something that you do. You can have a platform. Somebody could be getting educated on what it is you do, what information you provide. Um, doesn't have to be, like I said, something could also come out during a court proceeding. Um, somebody was just a gold digger, the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, and this person doesn't have a positive outcome. Somebody just wanted some sort of money or finances or resources, time, money, energy, and they do not have a positive outcome. They did something very deceptive and shady, possibly to get a judgment against you. So there could have been a judgment issued against or ordered against somebody in the past based on lies and deception, but the truth is being exposed. 
and something has to be made right. Somebody is about to be exposed for, um, I'm hearing malpractice, deceptive practices, unethical behavior, fixing the books, um, um, affecting, um, interfering with someone's place of dwelling or something like that. Some sort of legal jargon relating to affecting somebody's like housing situation or dwelling place, intentionally um, causing harm to somebody. Somebody was jealous, a jealous queen of cups, somebody who's emotionally unstable, unbalanced. This person could be going into the cold, being left out in the cold, or someone is coming out of the cold um, with the five of pentacles energy here. Because something is getting laid to rest regarding an emperor, a tyrant energy, who worked with a queen of cups, somebody who was jealous and envious of someone's success or something that they had or something that they had achieved. Someone could be coming out of the cold because they're getting a new love offer with the Ace of Cups. Somebody could be wanting to make someone a solid love offer. This could be somebody connected to this court situation. Or this could be somebody new altogether because someone is being seen as the official person. <clears throat> a true prophetess, prophet, spiritual advisor. Um, there was a third party situation here with the Three of Pentacles. There was a lot of talk, gossip, slander. Um, this emperor, this tyrant energy, and this jealous queen of cups energies, um, they worked together to cause some sort of harm to a, to an official person. And they could have used the courts to do this. Somebody is actually a loving, caring, and empathetic person. Somebody could also be wanting to offer someone some flowers. Um, you know, compassion, caring. Um, maybe somebody said you weren't a good parent, but maybe you really are. Someone could be seeing that. There's a big tower moment that's going to hit because somebody caused you a severe injury here to be the, the wounded warrior. And um, you could be receiving a gift or something that was taken from you being returned. So somebody could have made false reports, false allegations against somebody, got a judgment against somebody in the past. So maybe something didn't go, you know, in your favor in the past, but that's going to change. Someone is going to be caring and compassionate towards you. Yeah. Somebody wanted this official person to be juggling, especially finances. They wanted this person to be broke, juggling. Um, they didn't want someone to receive an offer. Somebody didn't want this official person to receive an offer. This emperor, this tyrant energy, father, lover, husband figure. This could be somebody that, you know, this jealous feminine energy could be somebody that the emperor was dealing with in a relationship with. This could also be a relative of yours. <clears throat> somebody was uneducated with the page of swords. Somebody didn't know the truth. Maybe they were closed off to even wanting to hear the truth because they believed what they had heard or somebody was very believable. Financial balance needs to be restored. Um, you may feel like you're trapped in a negative situation, but you're being set free from a negative situation <clears throat> because of your courage, strength, and perseverance. And something is being revealed about this Queen of Cups. That this person was just envious of you. Um, maybe because you were doing better than they were. Um, you know, that jealous mother figure has been coming out. Someone's traveling or moving. And somebody was trying to affect someone's financial stability to try to stop this from happening. So you may have been trying to move um, or do some traveling. Possibly to get away from everybody in this negative situation. But somebody was trying to affect your financial stability so you couldn't do this. Somebody was obsessed with trying to affect your peace. This person was the star in reverse. They were an evil person. They were really dark. They didn't care who got hurt. Um, they just cared about what they could get from it. And they did something based on emotions. Like, this Queen of Cups energy, you know, somebody is very emotionally unbalanced. They could need to go seek therapy or something. But this person... Um, is obsessed with affecting somebody's peace and stability so they can't move forward. Somebody has a new start, a new beginning. 
someone's going to be traveling, moving, a new job change, a new house. Um, this could also be a large lump sum of money, but it doesn't have to be. I don't automatically assume it's related to money. It can be, but that's not the necessary, um, you know, it's not the default per se. Okay, so the page of pentacles and the reverse. So somebody tried to affect someone's peace by getting creative in how they did this. They were trying to hide the fact that they were involved in doing this, and they were doing it intentionally out of jealousy, spite, anger, vengeance. Um, everything was based on emotional responses because this person needed to heal some childhood wounds. That's usually the case. Uh, but they tried to get creative in how they did this, so they worked with a third party here because we had a masculine energy that came out as well with the king of wands. Um, so they tried to be creative in how they took something from somebody because someone is viewed as the queen of pentacles. If you're in the upright, you're in this energy. Just because you're in the queen of pentacles energy doesn't mean you have a shit ton of money. It just means you know how to balance your finances. You know how to spend. You know, you would make a good business owner, proprietor, if I can say the word right. Um, but that doesn't mean you're rich, but you're in that energy. You hold that energy. Um, you know, you were meant to have a significant amount of money and someone didn't want you to ever have it. Somebody wanted you to be in poverty so that you never achieved the status because they were broke. They didn't follow their dreams. They didn't get things out of life that they thought that they deserved, but they didn't want to do the work. They didn't have the abilities to, well, everyone has the ability to do something, anything, but this person didn't do anything with their life. And so they blamed someone. This is like a mother figure that like has a child and then blames them for their dreams not coming true. Um, you know, someone whose dream was to like be a model or something and then they got pregnant and then they blame the child for the rest of their life because their life was shit and they didn't do anything with it. It's that kind of energy. Somebody was upset because you are content with small things. Um, you know, you don't need big extravagant things. So if one of these people, whether it's the masculine or feminine energy, if you are in a relationship with this person, they are very materialistic and you're not, okay? Even though you're in your Queen of Pentacles energy, the reason you can be in your Queen of Pentacles energy is because you know how to balance your money, possibly, you know, spend less to save more. You know what I mean? You were mismatched with somebody who liked to spend money. They had to have the finer things in life. So you may have ended up, you know, with a lack of resources because somebody wanted to steal money and they wanted control over this. They wanted control over the finances, the money. They wanted control over you. They wanted you to make the money, but they wanted to spend the money um, because that's just how this person is. That gold digger energy. And somebody is confused about how you're so relaxed if you don't have money or if you don't have resources, um, you know, they worked really hard to put you in a, into a, a state of juggling finances. So they're trying to figure out how you're so relaxed, even if you're broke. Um, well, I mean, that's none of their business to begin with now, isn't it? But, um, but they're confused. They're scratching their head after everything they did. They thought this shit was funny. They, they seriously thought this was a fucking game to ruin someone's life. You're going to be celebrating, eat, sleep, dance. Somebody did something way too many times just because they got an order against you in the past or had victory over you in the past doesn't mean they're going to keep getting that, especially when they're doing shady shit to you. Eventually, this shit is going to come back and bite you in the ass. Do people not understand how fucking karma works? Please, I, really? You'll get away with it maybe for a minute, but you keep doing stupid shit, you win stupid prizes. Keep your attitude. I have my own. Somebody may accuse you of having an attitude or um, being the problem. Or were maybe they said you were a problem. This person was a fool. They were a joker. This was not a happy relationship. This is in the reverse. This is something that maybe you thought that there were um, you know, moments of happiness or whatever, but for the most part, this past person that's connected to this somehow that, um, some of you may have been in a relationship with, 
This was not a good relationship. Um, there was a lot of conflict that was going on constantly because somebody was trying to save while somebody was too busy spending. Yeah, somebody was greedy. Nature's perfect food. You're actually, like, really, really good. Um, you know, you're like Betty Homemaker, Betty Crocker, you know, whatever. Martha Stewart energy. You know, you know how to take care of a house. You know how to manage finances. You know how to take care of your children. Somebody was just a greedy, bottomless pit. He who has the taste, it's hungry. And they moved quickly to do something and take something from you. Possibly even try to destroy your entire life just because they wanted to take what you worked hard for or they felt entitled to your shit. Um, just because you were married to somebody doesn't entitle anyone to anything. I'm just going to tell you I don't give a shit who they are. Especially if you're divorced or something. When you divorce somebody or you're not with somebody, you separate from them. They don't have to pay you the rest of your fucking life, okay? But somebody thought that they were entitled to someone else's money even though they were no longer with this person. And so they were doing underhanded tactics to fuck up this person's life because they stopped giving to them. Because they knew they were a greedy, gold-digging whore, man or woman. It doesn't matter. Somebody could want to partner up with you, come into union with you. One of the sad realities of life is laundry always cools off. So something may have been cooled down. So somebody may want to partner up with another person, but something may have been stalled or slowed down because of circumstances. Um, somebody may needed have needed to protect their energy, their space. Um, someone needs to move in silence and be careful about the moves they make because they're being watched. Their shit's being monitored. This could be through phone, cameras, listening devices. Um, stalking, gang stalking, whatever. Someone has to be careful about how they move, okay? So something may have been slowed down or cooled off um, because someone needs to protect themselves. Because somebody was hiding who they were. It's not logical. It's just our policy. Somebody was um, catfishing someone using a fake profile, fake identity. Someone was trying to gain information, steal, rob. Um, somebody was hiding who they were, their true personality, who they, their, even their identity. Somebody was uh, misrepresenting who they were. Somebody doesn't measure up. I'm not overweight. I'm under tall. So someone doesn't measure up to something. Um, somebody can't measure up to another person. So they could be using fake profiles to stalk, <clears throat> watch, harass, or troll somebody on a platform. Um... I'm also getting that um, earlier I said that a judge or somebody could have come across somebody online. They could be using a fake profile or something and finding out that someone didn't measure up to what they claimed to be and they just showed their ass. And now somebody wants to come rushing towards somebody else, um, rushing in towards somebody. So um, I'm hearing conflict of interest. I know this has come out sometimes in the readings um, where the lawyer of like, if you're married to someone, you go through a divorce, you know, your ex-spouse has a lawyer or something. You may have spoken out some sort of truth. You may have had judgments gone against you. This person may have worked against you, but they're finding out this person isn't exactly who they said they were. So somebody could be using a fake profile or hiding behind a fake account to do some research on you. Um, and they're finding out someone just really showed their ass. Um, they could have, your ex could have said that you get what you want by showing your ass or shaking your ass or sleeping with people. But this person, I just got to say it, it could be um, a lawyer or law official or somebody connected to the court. But somebody wants to come towards another person. Someone wants to come rushing in and partner up with somebody. And I believe we did have the Ace of Cups come out, so somebody wants to make an offer. Yeah, somebody was a weak-ass bitch, a masculine energy in the reverse here, an emperor energy. Somebody just wanted to be a tyrant, controlling, someone seeing through a, the illusion. This person was just a witch. I'm hearing witch bitch. Like, this person was just, no, I have to have everything. I'm melting. What was that? 
thought I saw a black card. Okay, my Pink Floyd card. Yeah, somebody wants to partner up with you. That's not supposed to be in this deck. It's my Pink Floyd, but... Yeah, somebody wants to partner up with you, and this person knows your past person. They're connected to them in some sort of way. The Woodstock, too? A dude! <laughs> I need to be careful, more careful about putting my cards away. So somebody wants to partner up with you and come into a relationship with you, and this person is connected to um, your past emperor somehow. Yeah, this person wasn't caring towards you or compassionate towards you, this tyrant energy. They didn't want to offer you flowers. They didn't want to love you. They didn't want to understand you. Um, they wanted to work with somebody else to just take your shit um, and leave you basically with nothing after they drained you of everything. But they don't want to stop until you're like non-existent. I mean, this person is literally out to destroy you. They're watching you, stalking you, trying to make sure you don't get on your path or you're not traveling or moving. Another one? Yeah, there's a feminine energy here, a witchy energy. That somebody was not caring and compassionate. So this could be a mother figure, a feminine energy. Um, you know, the flowers, when, um, the flowers card in the one deck can represent like a maternal figure or some, or father figure, something like that. So this could have been a mother figure. This is a female energy in the reverse that was not caring and compassionate to their own child. This is the Ace of Swords though. Um, you're going to have some sort of victory. This is a yes card, wish fulfillment. This is going to result in some sort of victory. A cycle is closing out and somebody wants to partner up with another person. So there's definitely a relationship that's going to come out of this somehow. Well, since the Woodstock cards keeps coming out, I might as well whip those out and see what's coming Somebody sleeps with a lot of people and someone is taking a moment to pause and reflect about this. That somebody was just doing something for fun. They were easily seduced. They could have slept with somebody that they worked with. So somebody could have been um, intimate with somebody that they worked with in the past. They fell for the low-hanging fruit and then they talked shit about you. Um, they could have said that you sleep around, but it's this person. You know, they're the king of wands energy in the reverse. They're not very faithful at all. They move around way too much. Anything else? <clears throat> so something is going to be permanently broken here. The cycle is over. Broken. That's broken metal. Something can't be fixed. Something is done. Okay? Something snapped. Or somebody snapped. Or someone is going to snap because somebody had a decision to make and they were hiding the fact that they were watching within a group here. So something is over. Somebody made a decision or had a decision to make. Somebody was at a crossroads here. And like I said, somebody was hiding um, that they were watching. So somebody was using like a fake profile or hiding their true identity regarding something. And they had to make a decision or they made a decision regarding what happened somebody knows the truth and that someone is guilty someone's going to be found guilty of something this came out sideways so we have soulmate so you could be going into union with your soulmate someone is guilty of being spiteful vengeful uh Someone was helping this person behind the scenes in the past. So, so, I'm telling you, this lawyer energy is something real. This person could have been helping somebody who was guilty of coming against you. So, um, somehow I told you this was, they are connected to um, your past person somehow. Someone is trying to take credit for someone else's work. 
God heals the doctor takes the fees. This could be the masculine or femme karmic energies. Someone's trying to someone's guilty of trying to take somebody's work or steal something that they worked hard for. Somebody could also be trying to hold someone accountable like um, say there's like a court proceeding or something and there's some sort of contract and there were like two names on a contract but only one person is being prosecuted for something and they didn't go after the other person. <clears throat> they put all the burden on one person. Someone intentionally caused an injustice here. Someone is intentionally causing an injustice. And that's sideways, so that could be going on now or near future. Yeah, someone's gaslighting you to try to make you... To try to hide the fact that um, they're just holding you accountable and not this other person. It's like they're trying to make put all the burden on you like everything is your fault when there's somebody else that needs to be held accountable as well. Um, dark witch or warlock. So somebody was using dark magic. They slept with somebody you don't know. And this person said that they only wanted to be with you. So this person said that they were monogamous, that they were with you, that, you know, you could have been, could have been married to this person. Um, and they said they only wanted you, but they slept with somebody you don't know. But that's because they're broken, they need money. So someone's broken, they, they needed money. Something was all about divine timing. So something that they did in the past... They may not have faced um, immediate karma for, but it's coming to get them now. <clears throat> I'm seeing like, you know, the hangman going towards the gallows. It's like, oh, you thought you escaped justice. Well, <laughs> let me show you. Um, no. <laughs> A Virgo could be significant. Somebody thought something was all fun and games. They thought this was funny. They really did. They sat back, tried to destroy someone's life, and they thought this was never going to catch up to them. Somebody has an ace up their sleeve that nobody knows about. Or an ace in the hole. Mm. Someone's a bald-faced liar. And somebody was trying to keep secrets from being exposed with hold your tongue. So somebody thought something was all fun and games because they didn't want their secrets exposed. But somebody, this bold-faced liar, um, is getting caught in the crossfire. They didn't expect, they're not going to see this backlash coming back to get them. Um, there could be a Gemini significant, water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Something happened in June on a Tuesday. Um, there could be something significant about Monday with the initials I, J, K, and L. And Q, R, S, or T with the Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. And the water sign Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This person could have done something in October. And then I have Aries and Libra in May. Someone's a fair weather friend. Um, so someone is only someone's friend when they get paid to be their friend or if they can get something out of it. Someone's falling off the wall. They're, they're falling off the wagon. Um, so someone could be throwing a temper tantrum, throwing a fit. Um, they could be drinking heavily, um, started using substances again or something. Uh, because someone's all talk and no action. So someone does a lot of talking, but... Um, they don't take any action as far as what they're going to do. Someone has court coming up and there's going to be a tower moment. Somebody thought they were going to be going from rags to riches and that's not what's going to happen in this case. So there's someone that's about to find out they're not getting some sort of settlement or money that they expected to get um, from another person. This person is as pure as driven snow, so someone who is innocent. So somebody expected to get rich quick off of somebody who is innocent and not they didn't do anything, um, but somebody thought they were going to get some money off of this person. 
this karmic is going to be going through trials and tribulations. Um, there's a whole group of people, a fine kettle of fish. There's a group of people, a school of people that's getting a wake-up call. And the, that could involve something significant about an Aquarius on a Friday. Somebody was not a good, kind soul. Um, an Aquarius is in the reverse here, so it could be an Aquarius, a low-vibing Aquarius that um, was not a good, kind soul. This person's not going to get their happily ever after during Capricorn season. A Sagittarius could be significant. A Sagittarius is going to be heading into their worst nightmare. <coughs> That's because this person was as slippery as an eel regarding a Pisces. Um, so somebody did something to a Pisces during Capricorn season. Uh, someone's going back to square one at the end of the day. Something is not happening. Capricorn again and in September. So Capricorn is very heavy in this. And so is water signs. Water signs very heavy. All right. Person, place, or thing. C could be significant. L. I'm hearing Craigslist. D. Someone's going to be cleared of all charges or cleared from some sort of debt or something. A. Something is ironclad. Something is set in stone or going to be set in stone. I'm hearing permanent final ending, a final judgment. C. G. Somebody could have been trying to manipulate something using technology or CGI, something like that. That one's broken. Z. U. I'm hearing chugs or Uggs or lugs. Some lugs. Lugs boots could be significant. P. And C. So I have three. Uh, yeah, there's definitely something using technology with PC here. I have three C's. P, G, L, A, Z, and D, U. Okay? I hope this helps. Have a good day.